This instructional video will guide you through the process of creating a lesson plan in Chalkable Classroom. Chalkable Classroom gives teachers the ability to very easily create lesson plans that are aligned to standards and attach documentation to those lesson plans. To create a lesson plan, you'll go over to the new item and it, the system will ask you what class are you wanting to work in. In this case, I'm going to be working on my math grade 7. So I'll click on math grade 7 and you'll notice here that the very first tab is lesson plan. So I'll type in the title of my lesson plan, which in this case is going to be expressions and equations. I'm going to select the category of lesson plans. You can add categories as well. And I'm going to type in what my lesson plan is about. This lesson will be about expressions and equations. I need to give it a start and end date for my particular lesson plan, so I'll give it the start date of today, for example, and I'll make it go through next Thursday. The Advanced Options button allows you to hide this lesson plan from students or make it visible. And in this case, we're going to hide it from students. The next thing that I want to do is attach standards to this lesson plan. So by clicking on the Attach button, I can go to the Standard button in the ribbon, and you'll notice that it's already got my class along with the standards for this class. And you'll notice here that I have the standards for the course. So I'll select this one because it's going to be equations and inequalities. I'll select that. And then I'll select these two standards. And you'll notice here that two standards are now selected. So when I look at that standard, you'll see that these are the two standards that I'm adding. You can also search for a standard by topic or by number and you click add and you'll be able to add those standards. Now they're added to my lesson plan. The next thing that I want to do is add attributes to my lesson plan. So by clicking over here in the right hand corner, I can click on the attributes and I can add particular attributes. Maybe there's objectives or resources or activities that I want to actually use as part of my lesson plan. In this case, I'll use objectives as the first one and I'll just put in students will be able to and I can list those objectives here. And then I want to add another attribute which is going to be resources. And I'm going to say attached worksheet for example. In this case, I'm going to attach a document. So by clicking on the document, I can directly connect to my Google Drive or to my Dropbox. And I can also go to my uploaded folder. Uploaded folder is anything that has ever been uploaded in my class before. And I'll have access to that information. And I'll do oldest to newest. And you'll see here that I have uh, a worksheet uh, on equations, so I'll attach that equation worksheet, and you'll notice here that that has now been attached as a PDF. Once that attribute has been uh, completed, and I have completed my worksheet, and attaching my worksheet, and I've completed my lesson plan, I just come down here and I click Submit, and now that lesson plan shows up in my feed and you'll notice when I click on the lesson plan, you'll see the lesson plan along with the standards and you'll see the objectives and the resources that are available for that lesson plan. So lesson plans show up again in the feed with green and red lines depending on how far you should have completed that lesson plan during that time. Thank you for taking time to watch this video on Chalkable Classroom Creating Lesson Plans. For more information, visit us on the web at www.chalkable.com.